Hello all boys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Oshin, I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, so as you can see, I've kind of been neglecting my hair over the last few months. There is a few different shades of blonde in there, and um, just pretty pretty messy in general. Um, but we have got a new Manchester Clippers, so we are going to show it some love in today. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to cut a mullet. Um, and we might do a cheeky little eyebrow slit and a line at the end, depending on how naughty we are feeling. But um, first things first anyway, we're going to get the blade four. We're going to go up to the parrot line and down to the back of the ear, just to take away the volume and see what we're working with. Now guys, so as you can see, we've kind of we've kind of opened it up a little bit more there, so we can see how we're looking. Um, because there's such a difference in the top, the back, and the sides, I might just do the sides first and then adjust from there. Because you know, there's no point in taking something off the top if we don't want it gone. So yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to draw a line from the zero, the temple, down to the ear. So then we're just going to go up about another inch with the one. And we're going to get our trusty mirror to look on the side I suppose. Now then we'll just put the one on the half guard and we will just go up about maybe a centimetre or two on that line just to get rid of it. Now, so then we are going to go with the blade two and we'll go up probably, probably another half inch maybe. And that's on the full day. Now guys, so then what we're going to do is we're going to take the blade tree and we're going to get rid of this line here just to bring it up to where we brought it up to with the four. The fade roughly done. There is a zero line here now that we'll have to take out with the half blade later. Um, we're going to start to kind of work on the top now, I suppose. Um, I want to keep the curls a little bit, but we have to get rid of a lot of this volume on the side here, as it's just too different from the top. Um, so what we're going to do with that is we're going to take a blade six, and we're going to just basically go along here and cut everything, cut everything on the side, I suppose. Okay, so it seems we've had a bit of a mishap there. I can't seem to find the blade six. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get the blade five and we are going to go on the half guard and we'll pretty much do what we said there. starting to look a bit more connected to the top um, unfortunately we lost a bit of blonde there but she look that happens um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to run the blade eight through it we're going to go with the back first run it through nice and lightly don't take too much off and then we'll see how it looks from there <laughs> Um, so then what you're going to do is you're 
is just run the blade aid through the fringe and just see how it looks and whatever looks nice, go with it. So I'm pretty happy with the top there. Um, unfortunately, we've had to sacrifice a bit more blonde than I would like, uh, but we've got more dye anyway, we can always do that. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the zero line. We're gonna work on that. So we're just gonna put the half blade, or we're just gonna put the zero blade on a half guard and just gently flick on that line until it disappears. Then you can adjust it slightly, maybe make one or two turns. That's the fade. It's not looking too bad there. The back is looking pretty long. And we're getting there. Now guys, so what I'm going to do next is, I would kind of like the line to be slightly higher on both sides. So I'm going to take the blade 3 again and just bring it up another little bit. So I'd say we're pretty much done there. Um, the back is obviously super long, but the end goal is to get it like braided. I think it would actually look really nice, believe it or not. Um, so it turns out we are feeling a bit naughty. So we're gonna go with an eyebrow slit and we're gonna go to the line. First of all, we're gonna do the line. Um, to do this, you just, you just get a blade zero and you pretty much draw a line. better looking lines but um we'll work on it okay to be honest I've definitely seen better lines we've got a bit thick there but not to worry practice makes perfect uh, it's all part of cutting your own hair it's like experimenting and you can do a few different bits um, but lastly what we're going to do is we're going to do an eyebrow slit. Now, if there's one thing I've learned in my 23 years of life is that girls love eyebrow slits. <laughs> uh, so you definitely want to get on that. Uh, so yeah, pretty much just going to draw a line right there and it'll look perfect. So we've got a nice little incision made there. Um, so lastly what we're going to do is we are going to do the neck hairs at the back. Um, to do this it's better to tie up the mullet and so you can see everything. And we are going to use the cutthroat razor.
Now guys, so I'd say we're pretty much done now. Um, normally what I do is I take a shower and then show you, but this time I'm just going to throw a bit of dye in it to, um, to improve the blonde. Now the dye I'm using today is a, uh, it's actually from Deals, it's uh, only 150 It's a little bit small, um, but I mean for 150 you can't really leave that one on the shelf, huh? <laughs> now so we're just going to lump all this in. That's everywhere pretty well coated with the dye. So I'm gonna leave this on for about an hour now and then take a quick shower and I'll come back and show you the final results. Now guys, so this is the final result after the shower and the bit of hair dye. Uh, I'll do a little quick twirl for you. Now, as discussed earlier, um, the line isn't the best. Which kind of leads me to a good lesson, which is um, if you do make a mistake when you're cutting your own hair, you're nearly better off leaving it nine times out of ten, from my experience in it, because the chances are you will actually make it worse. Um, you like nobody will really notice now. You might take a bit of stick for it, but sure, look, we won't lose too much sleep over that. And here it is with the mullet tied up, which I think looks pretty nice. Now guys, so hope you enjoyed today's video, uh, if you did, leave me a like and subscribe, thank you for all the comments, the likes and stuff, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.